Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and welcome to another video. Today's video is part of the spring release uh, 2016 block hop from the Ton in honor of their brand new release. In today's video, I am featuring their brand new donut bar stamp set and I'm absolutely in love with this stamp set. I have been looking for a really cute and sweet donut set for a long time now and I was just so excited when I saw that the ton um, came out with this adorable stamp set. So I decided to use uh, the sets for today's card and I'm going to create a really nice pattern with it. So I am using a lot of the stamps on the donut bar stamp set and I'm stamping all of those little donuts in several colors. Here you can see me using the lofty mint color from the Tom. This is my favorite ink pad from the Tom because that's such a gorgeous mint color. I am also using the soft garden dye. This is a really pretty uh, lime-ish color. And then I also wanted to add in a little bit of purple and I'm doing that with the Orchid Crush ink pad. I really like these ink pads from the Tom because they stamp so smooth and they also end up drying really smoothly so you won't um, have any splotchy images with these inks so that's definitely a bonus. So I'm going to stamp a few more donuts and then I went ahead and stamped the dock from the Love and the Dock stamp set from the Tom onto some white cardstock using their Caviar Hybrid ink. This ink works with Copic markers. So I am using the N1 Copic marker first to add a little bit of shading and then I use the NO marker to blend that out. So I'm flicking my brush and then I decided that I just want like a really light gray dock. So I grab my marker and I'm just coloring this entire image with this NO marker and that gave me a real nice blended dock. Then I also stamped the uh, flower headband from the same stamp set, so from the Love and the Dog stamp set from the Ton, onto some white cardstock and I colored those leaves with YG23 and YG17 uh, for some extra blending. Then I'm going to color a purple flower using BV0000 first and then I'm using the BV00 as um, my second color on as my darkest color to add a little bit of shading here and there. Then I am also coloring some mint flowers. I am using BG11 first and then I used BG32. I just got this marker and I really love this color and it works absolutely wonderful with the BG11 Copic marker. After coloring all of the images, I took another piece of white cardstock and I cut that to five and a half by uh, three inch and three quarters of an inch. And then I started stamping more of those donuts. So I am using the same ink pads and the same donut bar stamp set. I used vanilla frosted cupcake ink for the first donut. Then I used rose quartz. And then for the mint, I used the Lofty Mint color, which is my favorite ink pad. And then finally, I used Orchid Crush to bring in a little bit of purple. For the sentiment, I am using the brand new Basic Label stamp set from the Tom. And I grabbed the Happy and the Birthday uh, stamp and I lined it up onto my paper because I wanted to stamp that onto that layer first. So I picked that up with my Misty tool and then I changed my mind and I decided to stamp that on a separate piece of white cardstock with the caviar ink from the Tom. So I went ahead and stamped that with my Misty tool, putting a lot of pressure on there since um, you really want a solid stamped image with this type of um, stamp. And then after stamping that reading, I cut that out with my Fisker Sure Cut. And here's the part where I had to do some card surgery. When I was making this card, I just, I don't know, it was a complete mess and I had to redo a lot of stuff over and over again. And as you can see, I actually had to tear off this whole white layer and then I stamped the donuts again, which you saw me doing in the beginning of this video. But um, I already uh, adhered a piece of glitter cardstock on there with some foam adhesive. And then I just, I um, adhered a couple of new and fresh 
um, foam cuts or little foam squares I mean and then I was able to adhere that layer on there and nobody will ever notice it. Then I'm adhering the dog on there with some foam adhesive and I am using glossy accents to adhere the flower headband on the dog. So I think that looks absolutely adorable. Then finally I'm adhering my greeting on there with some foam adhesive and that finishes up my card. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to visit my blog for more information about this blog hop and for more information about the giveaways. See you soon. Bye-bye.